I'm Jimmy Muldoon, and this is my good brother Sean. Hello everyone. And we are Muldoon's Coffee Company, and we're here today to explain a wee bit about our success in Canada in the 23 years that we started our business. A few people have seen the movie Braveheart, well, we do that except we'll get coffee. <laughs> so we have basically, starting from a very small company in Canada, 24 years ago, built a company from nothing. We came here, my family actually owned a, a cigarette, well actually it was a cigarette machine company in Scotland in the pubs and clubs in Glasgow. And from there, my father and myself built our company and learned some of the trade of handling people. At the very end of the is we started this business, we started it with six plastic coffee machines, we started it with nothing. That, look at the pants, that is where I started. I had nothing. We started, we were a coffee service for many years. We always went to school with a shirt and tie. We always went to work with a shirt and tie. We were always dressed like this. We started a service in Toronto. We had shirts and ties. We'd go in with the same coffee as everyone else. Where it was different is that we loved our business. We still do. Every single thing my people do or my company does, we are so involved in it, but we so believe. That's why I need in our business, is I grow the business as it gets bigger. I don't want to be twice as big and half as good. I think that would be just such a disappointment for everyone involved, but we can impress it with our passion. We love this business. We love our people. Eddie Furcado, the guy that's out there, he would run through walls for us. We love him, he loves us. That's how we go. That's what I want to be. To my customers, I want to be, I don't want to be a cost, I want to be an asset. I want to be that to my people too though. As this company grows larger, when we have 100 people, I don't want to be any different. There's a lot of people in this room that have known us forever, but have never changed. We never would change. We meet people every day and they come to us and say, oh, I can't believe you guys haven't changed. Why would we change? This is just what we are. We were like this before, we'll be like this. I'll come back here in 10 years, I'll be the same thing. The company will be a little bit bigger. Jimmy will be a little bit bigger. No. <laughs> you know? I'm going to have to have dress track pants. <laughs> <laughs> Blake Austin will in the cape. But build that great business and build that great brand. If you meet any of my people on the street, you'll see the exact same attitude. Our staff turnover is almost zero. We never lose people. And how we do that simply, we believe that we, we pay well, but we treat well and we, we dialogue with them, and we make them feel part of that team. So my brother and myself on a daily basis, we care about the quality of that, that product of ours, I mean, it's everything to us, and we, we care about that brewing system, so you've seen some of them today, we've invented some of our own, and we care about that customer service, and to that, that end is what's led us well to this point. There's really, in our world, and the way my dad taught us, there's three things that you have to have in business to be great. Number one, you need a great product. I fell in love with it, I got lucky, which is coffee. Number two, in our case, um, brewing of the coffee became incredibly important. That's the second leg of our three-legged bar stool, we call it. The third part of this equation for me is customer service. So, see, we call that the three-legged bar stool to us in our strange world, or the Muldoon's blanket of love. So I go in and meet Mr. Harry Rosen, and I say, Mr. Rosen, and he stops in his tracks right away, looks at me, and I said, I'm a customer of yours from Toronto. Oh, my God. When I said customer, the guy was glistening. <laughs> so, oh, how are you doing? Lovely to meet people from Toronto. By the time I got my card out, he already had his in my hand. Yeah. I thought, I've just been outdrawn. <laughs> <laughs> then I thought to myself, holy smokes, I thought I had pearl handled pistols. Yeah. This guy's already gave me one very quickly. So then I suddenly said to my brother, maybe it's good Sean that we're younger. Because yeah. I wouldn't like to fight with that guy. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So that again, we model ourselves on businesses like that. Real stories. It would be my honour, I can assure you, to be involved in this business in Canada. Also the fourth largest, well technically third largest city in North America. We think Toronto is the best thing. We love being Canadian. We're so proud to be Canadian. I am Canadian. And I think it's the best country in the world. And again, I'm blessed to be here this day. So on behalf of my brother and myself, thanks for giving us your time. 